You have everything that you want in life. Whatever you have right now is all you're doing and it's everything that you want. If you don't like the job that you have, you don't like the amount of income that you have, if you don't like the body that you have, it's your doing. The reason that you have what you have right now is because you chose to have that. It's not anybody else's fault but your own. All your past thoughts and actions and your daily habits is what brought you to this point in your life right now. The reality is simple. Whatever you think about and whatever you do is going to create the life that you have. So that's the formula. How do you change the outcome? You change your thoughts and you change your actions. Whoever you are right now can just change. You can change it like that. You might be thinking like, Nick, well, you know, I want X amount of dollars. I want a million dollars or I want a bigger house or I want to have not have to worry about money or I want to not be so fat and I want to be bigger and I want to be jacked. Well, then start making those decisions. Start making the decisions and taking the actions that will actually build that future for you. You know, I have everything I have right now because of my past thoughts and actions. Um, number one, I don't have as much money as I want. Number two, I don't have like the ideal living situation that I want. I don't have the car that I want. I don't have the business that I want. But since I've realized what I need to do, I've taken the action towards that. In the past, I've acted like a little bitch. I've acted like a little bitch, drinking, smoking weed, not, not constructing myself or handling, handling myself or constructing the life that I, that I wanted to have. And because I wasn't taking the actions to get that life that I want, what did I do? I turned to vices, turned to drinking, turned to smoking weed, stuffing my face with food, not taking the actions to grow my business. And it's funny the way that when you take those, those backwards actions, when you take those backwards actions, it just leads to more backward action. Think of it like this. Look at your 10.0 self. Like, what would be the perfect life for you? And you have to envision this. If you don't envision this, then you won't get there. If you don't have a vision for your life, then you're not gonna get there. And I still work on this every day. Like, I, I think my vision gets better the more I work on my vision. I know that sounds, that might sound a little crazy to you, but it's true because you're, you, wherever you're at right now, you probably, your vision of your 10.0 self is probably gonna change as you grow. So when I try to picture myself as 10.0 Nick, I have this vision where I have a decent house. Um, you know, I want a big enough house so I can house, I, I can have my friends or family over, family stay over and come visit me because I live far, far away from my family because I live, I'm here for my daughter. I'm number one, I'm here for my daughter and her mother lives in the area that I'm in right now. And my family lives probably, you know, a good hour and a half, hour and a half away. That's 85 to, to 100 miles. You know, without traffic, you add in the traffic and it takes more time. So I want a place, a big enough place where they can come stay with me and come visit for a few days and, and not feel like they're sleeping on the couch. I want to have, I want to have, you know, a couple cars. I want to have a home gym in my garage. I want to have a three car garage with a home gym in one of the garages. I want to have a pool. I want to have, I want to have all these things, a nice big open eat-in kitchen with, with great room. I, you know, there, there's so many things. I want to not have to worry about money right now. It's like, man, the money's not coming in as great as I want. It's getting better. It's getting better and it's stacking, um, but little increments, right? I, I want that huge jump. So what am I doing? I'm working on getting there. But I tell you what, as my vision, as I grow as a person, as I become more, my vision starts to get bigger. It starts to expand. And I start to think about bigger things other than just myself. And I start to think about all the people that I can help and grow. You know, because I was this little bitch. I was this little bitch. As far as my 10.0 self, I was acting at my best time. At my best time, I was acting at a 5.0. Right, so 10.0 is the top, best you can be, all you can be, taking daily steps, creating your daily habits, just bit, just going after it, 100%. And I was at 50%, I, even if that, even if 50%. Because I was drinking every day, smoking weed, just not taking the action I, that I needed to take. And here's the thing, at 5.0, Right? What do I do? Oh, I'm getting stressed out. It's the end of the day. So, you know, it's time for a beer. I cut out early. Oh, it's five o'clock. Time for a beer. Time for a drink. That drink turned into six or to 10. And then what happens, right? 
So then I wake up hungover the next day. I don't get up early. I don't get my workout on. I feel shitty. I feel shitty about myself. I didn't go after my goals, right? So instead of 5.0, instead of 5.0, now I've just taken a back step. Now I'm at 4.0 for the day. To start the day, I'm at four. No, probably even just like a three or a two or a two, right? I've taken back steps. So now I'm even further away from that life goal that I want, that vision that I want for myself. And what does that lead to more? More stress, more coping with vices, the alcohol, the weed, stuffing my face, overeating, not working out. How do you change this? Number one, drop the vices. Drop the motherfucking vices first and foremost, especially if you're a single dad like me, all right? If you're a dad, you know, if you're a parent in general, your kids are watching. They might not listen to everything you say. They might not follow along with everything that you have to say and want to tell them, but they are going to emulate you. They are going to emulate you. Just think back. Look at yourself right now. How were your parents? Are you following in line with, the, with your parents and your parents' footsteps? I bet you are. I bet you are. My family never had a lot of money. I never came from people that had a lot of money. And I'm trying to break that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just like become this man that was never in my life. And it's a hard thing to do. But now, you know, with the proper coaching and training, I, I have somebody to follow. I have somebody to teach me and show me. And so now every day I'm habitually constructing that man, my 10.0 self. But I would never get there if I didn't drop the vices. It's been over a year since I quit alcohol. I, I don't even smoke weed. I, I never have it. If I get in, if, I, if I'm hanging around with somebody that has it, I mean, I don't even socialize really, but with family, like my brother um, might have a little bit. I might, I might take a toke, but that, I mean, that's really it. Like I don't even get to a spot where, my, where I, I can't function or anything like that. And honestly, I've been sober for so long now and I operate on a sober uh, sober head on a daily basis. Taking that little toke just even messes, it messes me up. It doesn't even make me feel great. Especially if I have my daughter around or being around, I just feel weird. And it's not a good feeling. So number one is drop all those vices. You gotta drop the vices. The alcohol was the worst for me. And, I, and, and now that I've dropped the alcohol, now what am I doing? I'm, I'm getting up early. I have the ability to get up early because I dropped that vice, right? So instead of that 2.0, now we're stepping up, right? So every day, I'm stepping up. It's stepping up, right? I'm starting out at 5, 6, 7.0. Getting up early, reflecting, reading. So I'm changing my mind every single day. Like I'm, 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 I'm programming my mind every single day to get me towards that 10.0 Nick. Waking up early, getting my mind right, being sober all damn day. I don't even care if I'm hanging out with family. There's no, there's no social drinking. There's no socializing and doing drugs. It just, it's just not a thing. Like I said, I'm not even going to get to a point where I'm like, where I'm altering my state of mind. And honestly, if you can't control yourself, your mind without using a vice, some sort of vice, some sort of drug, or alcohol, then you need to check yourself and stop acting like a little bitch and get, get your shit in order. If you're a dad, especially, especially if you're a dad, I'm talking to my dads right now. I mean, my daughter's always watching. That's how, I, that's how I try to conduct myself. I'm always conducting myself in a manner that if my daughter was watching, because she is, she is, and she will emulate me. She, she sees me working out. I talk about working out. Where I used to, you know what, what, what it used to be? I used to go to the store. I'm like, oh, come on, kid, we're going to the store so daddy can get a fucking six pack. And I'm so like disgusted with myself that I even showed her that that I was even that person. Because I know that she's gonna emulate that shit if I, if I kept it up. But now she doesn't remember because that was a while ago when I quit. I haven't been to the store to pick up a six pack. No beers, no ciders, no nothing. And what does she see me now? She sees her dad get up early. I'm always up when she, before she gets up. I'm already started my day. I'm either finishing, I finish my workout or I'm, I'm doing it, finishing up when she gets up. If it's on the weekend, I'll wait for her and we'll work out together. She doesn't do anything crazy. She just, I, I just show her, I'm like, hey, put on a YouTube, find a YouTube video you like. And she does some yoga stuff, some stretches on her yoga mat. It's so funny too, cause she takes out, <laughs> I'm always working out shirtless and she takes her shirt off <laughs> to do the workout. And I love it. You know, she's, she's following my footsteps. Even though she doesn't want to work out, she does it cause I'm doing it. You know, so she sees me work out. She sees me count my macros. Nutrition's everything when you're working out. You want to see results? If you're fat, if you're a fat fuck, and you wanna see results, just focus on what you eat. Start tracking that and that will give you the biggest results 
right away. You know, and then you and then you can start adding in the workouts. I would just start walking. If you're a fat fuck, you know you're a fat fuck, all right? Just stop lying to yourself. Stop showing your kids that it's okay to be an obese motherfucker. What you need to do is start tracking your nutrition, tracking what you eat every day, reducing that, and just start walking. Just start taking, set a goal for 10,000 steps a day. If you can't get it, good. You know, do 1,000 steps a day. Do 2,000 steps a day. Walk for 20 minutes a day, three, two to three times a day. Just start there. And I'm telling you what, in a matter of two to four weeks, you will see a drastic change. Put, get yourself on the scale, watch what you eat, reduce what you eat, go for walks every, every single day, and in two weeks, you'll, two weeks, you'll see a huge difference. So what does she see? She sees her dad uh, consistently getting up early, working out, watching what he eats, controlling screen time. Like I don't, we don't sit around and play video games. We don't sit around and do uh, watching TV. Like that's a treat. Once in a while we do that. Setting good habits. That's what she sees. She sees her dad setting good habits, being in control of his mind. You know, I'm not, I'm not lashing out. I'm not, I'm not losing my shit on her. You have everything you want. Back to the beginning of this video. Everything you want is in your control. If you want something else, you want something better, you want that 10.0 you, then you gotta change your motherfucking habits. And you gotta drop those fucking vices. That's step number one. Start setting an example for your people, especially for your kids, your family, your friends. All right, let's go. Stop being a little bitch.